Hi, welcome to Toolbox Tuesday. I'm Jose Delaportia, and today I'm gonna to show you the S-Man 460 manifold set, digital manifold set by Field Piece. So this is kind of what you get when it comes out of the box. It's got a nice carrying case. Uh, before we open it up, I wanna show you there's a couple things that you wanna take notice of, because we're gonna talk about it later. It's right in the zipper pouch right there is your instruction manual. It comes with six AA batteries that you need. And it's gonna come with this handy little screwdriver, which you're gonna wanna save, and I'm gonna show you why in a little while. So with the S-Man 460, there's a drawstring right here that you can undo. Stretch out the cover and remove your digital manifold set. Now what comes with the S-Man 460 is the manifold itself and two pipe clamps to use to measure your suction and your liquid line temperature. I like the convenient little handles to hook them onto so they stay all together. You don't have to fumble around for taking extra accessories out of your bag. This is a full four port manifold set. So you have your low side valve here, your high side valve here. You have the standard quarter inch port for access to your refrigerant cylinder. And you have the larger port for access to your vacuum pump. The reason you want this larger hose is how much faster you can actually pull a vacuum through a larger hose. It'll really save you a lot of time. So let's take a look at some of the features on it here. It has over 45 refrigerants pre-programmed into it. it. Has the ability to sync with their job sync platform. So if you have other field piece wireless devices, you can collect data directly from them to your job link and sync them to your S-Man 460 has the ability to change the units that you want to read. It has the ability to set target superheat for fixed metering device systems. And since this has a built-in micron gauge, it has two alarm levels you can set. One for your low level alarm to let you know when you're hit, your, vac your vacuum range, and then a high level alarm to let you know while you're doing your decay test, if your micron level rose higher than it should have. That can come in very handy. Now, it doesn't come with its own hoses, so you will need to supply your own hoses, which we'll hook up to in a little bit here. A couple of the things I like about it is it's nice, it's firm, it's strong. It's got a nice rubber case there and a hook to hang your uh, S-Man from while you're doing the service work. It does require six AA batteries. And those can be accessed right here at the back. Okay, now that we've got the batteries in, let's turn it over and take a look at the display. The center button right here powers it up. And right away you'll see it starts reading pressures. Inside the manifold block up here are your pressure transducers that are gonna read your suction and your discharge pressure. Knowing what refrigerant we're looking at, it can calculate the saturation temperatures on the high side and the low side of the system, which is what we're gonna use to calculate superheat and subcooling. And then down here, we have our superheat and subcooling temperatures. It also has a really nice backlight display if we just push it once. And we can use the refrigerant toggle slider here to toggle to whatever refrigerant we're working with. As again, as I said, there's 45 different refrigerants programmed in here. We're gonna look at R410A today. The nice thing is, is that Field Piece will keep you updated with firmware updates for this. So as new refrigerants come out, new options come out, changes to the firmware, you can go online to fieldpiece.com, download the firmware update, and follow the instructions on how to update the firmware in your S-Man 460. Now, we talked about a little small screwdriver earlier, and here it is. It comes shipped with it, and this is why. Both your high side, your liquid line temperature pipe clamp are thermocouples. They're standard K-type thermocouples that plug in right here. Notice the alarm as we remove it. 
But you need to make sure you do something that not every technician does. And that's that you keep these things properly calibrated. The way you calibrate any K-type thermocouple, including one of these pipe sensors, these pipe clamps, is to calibrate it to a known source. By a known source, what I mean is a glass of ice water. Get a large glass of water, put ice cubes in it, mix it up, let it sit for a while. As long as there's part ice and part water in it, you know it's at 32 degrees because it's saturated. It can't go above 32 degrees until every last ounce of ice is melted. So you would take these pipe clamps, submerge them in the 32 degree ice water, take your screwdriver and adjust this potentiometer right here until the line temperatures were reading 32 degrees. You do that for both K-type thermocouples. Also, whenever you're using a manifold set and you're about to hook up to a new system, you wanna make sure that it's reading zero pressure. So if I had my hoses here, I would open them up and I have a pressure button right here where I can hit it to zero it out to atmospheric pressure. But if you wanna check the accuracy of this, you could hook it up to a known pressurized cylinder, perhaps nitrogen, set it up to a certain pressure and calibrate it to that as well. So it has some neat features built into it. So let's go ahead and get some hoses hooked up to it and let's go evaluate a system.